Hey guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Foster Kajin Cosplay and tonight we are back again to you guys with Arcane! It's, it's been a while. <laughs> episode, yes, episode 9 of season 1, so the finale, the monster you created. So this is the time where we get to hear the Sting song we knew about before we watched the show. Yeah. So as you can see, there was a reason why we were so late for the finale. We wanted to do something a little special, as we sometimes do. We were waiting for this. We were waiting for her base wig, and then I kind of, as soon as we got it, I was like, okay, let's style this shit. Uh, I took, you know, I, I was as fast as possible, but I did something which I think is okay, right? Yeah. And I mean, we don't look half bad, right? I, I hope, I hope so. Hopefully. And uh, she made uh, the background, also she made a bunch of decorations for the show because we, when, when we watch short shows like this, sometimes it happens that we don't have time to change anything back there. But uh, that's the good thing about Arcane and the time we took for the finale, we had time to make this. So, sorry you had to wait, but hopefully this makes it a little worth it. At least it makes it worth it for us! <laughs> for me, it, it does. It We're does. enjoying this quite a bit. So, I mean, this is gonna be emotional. This is gonna be the big finale. Where did we leave last episode? Oh. Uh, Jinx had been changed. I have been reborn as something. Yeah. <laughs> I have pink eye right now. Yeah. Not she... the one that you think, think of. It but... was that or she was dying, so... Yep. I mean, she's also bent on revenge, like she believes that Vi chose Caitlyn over her, so she's in Caitlyn's bathroom. <laughs> to do whatever. <laughs> the eye flashing in the dark. That was crazy. Uh, what else? Vi had an opportunity to talk to the council and they're like saying they don't want to declare war or anything. They want to parlay basically. They want to debate. They want to talk to Silco and make an, uh, a deal. But she's like, he's not going to listen, which technically it's true. It's too late for parlay right now. Yeah. Uh, but then again, it's also true that starting an all out war is not going to help either. Then again, I kind of liked what she did because she she went behind behind the council's back. She went to Jace and together they bend it together and they destroyed one of the facilities that creates the Shimmer. They became Avengers basically. Sort of, yeah. They're using the fist, he's using the <laughs> hammer. That's pretty cool. Uh, we'll see what the consequences of that well, are. Jace basically episode. saw uh, on first row the consequence that a kid died. Because of it. Yes, well, kids were used in the factory, so as workers, uh, they gotta survive, you know, so any way possible, and they're using kids and stuff, which gives leaves, leaves a bad taste in the mouth, let's say. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, and a kid died during the intervention, so Jace was like, oh shit. Some people like Vi could be saying, like, sacrifices must be made. Basically, we're in a situation where there's no good answer, no true good answer, and there's always gonna be something bad following the decision you make because like something has to be done because you've got uh fuck what's his name the Sil Silco? no the kid C uh, cal loves him echo echo sorry <laughs> you've got He's echo. Not a kid anymore. well you've got echo taking care of orphans basically people who need help and then the ones that are not fortunate enough to get help are left in the, the basement of the basement you know they're addicts and they're becoming monsters and no one is taking care of that, and basically the ones in charge are satisfied with their new happy life that kind of reminds them of Piltover, so... Yeah. And Silco is just left in charge of everything to do, you know, what he wants, and what he wants is not necessarily the best for everyone. So something has to be done, but what and how? And what are the consequences of that choice? I don't know, we will see in this episode. Okay. And there's definitely a season two. <laughs> So I am excited to finish this season one with you guys. I say we jump right away in episode nine and see what they have in store for us. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to know when these episodes come out and check out our Patreon for the full reactions. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, by the way, uh, it is really hot and as you have noticed, I am wearing two layers of jackets, a, a, a sweater and this jacket. I don't want to die, so we have a fan over there. I do not know how much of that you can hear, but if you can hear it in the background, I am sorry, it is necessary. So I don't die. Okay, moving on. I am the monster you created. It's been a while since I've listened to the song, actually, because now I've switched onto the one that plays when your character's like, with the flare. <laughs> Such a good moment. It is. It was. Mm. Still is. We're done here. We haven't even scratched the surface. Silco's still out there. Do you not understand? I am part of this now. 
Man. The next parents who get a message their kid isn't coming home. I don't even know where to take it. One dead kid? There's hundreds more where he came from, thanks to Silco and thanks to people like you who stuck their heads in the dirt. She has a yeah, point. point. This is over. Not for me. And now you've given her the gloves, so... Take those off. No. Make oh, are we gonna me. have a fight? Oh, no. Now is not the time. Make me. But then again, they both have a point. Thank you. You won't make it alone. Well, she's been making it alone for a while. Taking down Silco by herself, though? I... Yeah, maybe not. I know some people in the comments say that it's better if Silco's on top, but like, he's making the drug his... his money, basically, you know, it's just a... Uh, Thing that makes everything better, but it doesn't make everything better. To depend on this, in my opinion, is bad. I might say yes and no because having some sort of order, even though that is bad, is better than having anarchy and riots and destruction. We had order. No? Yeah. Okay. Some people also say that if you're against Silco, you're for Vendor, and I'm not saying Vendor was perfect, but there was order back then too because he was making the order. They were miserable back then too, but now, even if they look better, there's an entire secret in the basement of the basement where people are addicts. So no, everyone is not better. Some of them are I, so much worse. I never said they were better. I said having someone there to take to make order, even though that circle's order is yeah, totally mean, bad. The point would be to better take down, than having them being uh, riots. The point would be uh, to take more down and more deaths. You the know? point would be to take down Silco and. I point someone else. Whom? I don't know. You gotta do anything about that piece of shit that murdered my boy. Let me guess. Jinx will take care of it. Just like she's been taking care of everything else. At least we have the solace of knowing he died fighting for our cause. I don't even know if he knew about the cause. You're one to talk about sacrificing for the cause. Where is Jinx anyhow? Help her with the body. There is no right or wrong. They all have a point. They all are wrong. It's a complicated, realistic issue. Oh yes, this happened too. I didn't sit and talk about this in a recap, but yeah. Yeah, she got dusted. Yeah. She was the price paid for his enhancement. Which is fucked up, because she was the one supporting him. I knew this will probably never see the light of day. But watching how you work so tirelessly to make the world a better place... Well, I couldn't forgive myself if I didn't try. Everyone's gotta do their part, right? Yeah. Is that how he's gonna take it? Like, she did her part? I hope not. Because he's going back to the thing. It's his moment to choose. You made the wrong decision, buddy. But then again, think about where he comes from. I know. Uh. Mel, did you like that? Stay away from James. <coughs> Sorry, you really yeah. fond of him. Better yet, march back to your ship and get the hell out of my city. Get hold of yourself. I taught you better. I don't like her, but she's cool. <laughs> You're in trouble, Mel. The man who killed your brother doesn't believe the score is settled. If there is a chance Hextech can be weaponized, we must have it. Piltover isn't your testing ground. I've only accelerated a process you started. I wanted to protect the city from people like you. I would set the world ablaze to protect our family. I stopped being part of this family the moment you cast me out. Why? Why did you do it? Because you weakened me. I couldn't endure the look in your eyes whenever I made the decisions, the necessary decisions to keep us safe. And that's a good she, excuse. She brought up your humanity, that's what you're saying? Exactly. They're both part of a whole. They should connect and work together instead of, you know, saying my Let side is better. Forward. 
and you come home, take your place at my side. <sighs> it's where you belong. Because again, both have a point, yet both are wrong. Like, it's, it's fine, you know, to create this technology and wish for people to use it for good, but there's always going to be someone there to use it for bad. I feel so bad for him. Because, I mean, he, he did this himself, you know? Yeah. But the reasons why he did it, we can't really fault him for. No, babe. Am I interrupting? Oh, we're switching sides! <laughs> but you don't know what just happened. Well, Jace killed a kid, and Victor killed Sky. You have to destroy it. The hex core. I... I can't do it. You have to. Please. Promise me. Okay. Okay. I promise. They made this huge thing we lost ourselves. to help people lost and now it's being used for evil left and right. In pursuit of great. We failed to do good. That's why science is dangerous. <laughs> I'm kind busy. of anxious to cut to Caitlyn. <laughs> when you took Vander out of play, I thought now here's the man who understands what it takes to run an enterprise. But... Yeah, there's a but. <laughs> but times loved you, old man. But again, that's another example. No matter who's on top, there's always going to be someone that's dissatisfied. Always. You're too young to remember what the Undercity was before it became an enterprise. You know what bore us through those times? Loyalty. Brothers and sisters back to back against whatever the world threw at us. <laughs> now I'm forced to share the air with parasites like you. Uh, yeah. I'm sensing some betrayal. Yeah. <laughs> well, they just said that he was done. He was too yeah. old. But I still believe in your tale. I believe she's on his side, so there you go, for sure. I didn't even doubt that she was gonna help him, <laughs> but then he got scared. <laughs> well, she got, she was close. I mean, they were about to kill him. Then again, it's not a democracy if no one can I voice their concerns. Though I suppose we're ahead on that account. Mm -hmm. Get out. Basically, it might look like he's got control over the place, but he's not in control. It's a shitty government. <laughs> Careful. I was like, that into it without a war. <laughs> I was watching his thing and I was like, a T? <laughs> it's the hammer. He's going with the council's idea of how to make things right. But then again, Silco is not interested. Like, he Free might play like he's interested. Blanket amnesty, unrestricted access to the Hexgate sovereignty. You really think you're in a position to demand all this? I give you credit for your stunt. But the big display followed by a request for parlay. You're tipping your hand. That reminds me of Viking. You know, well, yeah. when you're winning but you ask of parlay right Today after. Yeah, exactly. of what war between us might look like. Your people wouldn't stand a chance. But kids would be Council dying. Couldn't care less. Innocents would be dying. I'm trying to save you from annihilation. You want peace. This is the price. You'll discontinue the production of Shimmer. Half there already. Return the gemstone. And I need Jinx. Hey, she has yeah. to pay for what she's done. Hey, that they sacrifice. If I had it my way, it'd be you running in still water. But we can't make a deal with a snake and cut off its head. We both have our shitty parts to play. Yeah. Get me Jinx, hmm. and I'll give you your nation of Zoan. Will he? Yeah, would he but... do it? Am I more important for Silco than his empire? Well, they talked about sacrifice. 
and he's not willing to make sacrifices, so no, I don't Seto know. No, is a selfish man. But then again, like, the whole idea of making a deal with him, considering he was speaking of making Zon a feared nation, I'm like, in the long run, I don't think it's gonna work. Like, he might play like he wants to shake hands now, but I don't think in the long run, this is what he wants. A thousand times I've imagined this moment. Never like this. And what do I lose but problems? Oh, it all makes sense now, brother. I mean, this is nice. You still killed him. You know, that love and hate are on the same line. Is there anything so undaring as a daughter? Mm. Um, <laughs> I don't think she's gonna agree to be handed over if there that goes there, you know? No. Because she's been abandoned by too many people I've at this point. I've been betrayed by my own sister and not by my second father. Yeah, there's a limit and it's been crossed. If it's her and she's going to kill everyone? Uh, no, it's fine. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, we're about to see some, some <laughs> ass kicking. <laughs> everyone out. We got a, set, a score to settle, basically. <laughs> Except now she's armed to face her with the the, the drug. <laughs> I love the fight choreography in this show. <laughs> oh fucking hell! It's like bar fight, but next level. <laughs> oh. I love that from outside we've seen vice punches with the blue light and uh, her with the yeah. cat punch with the purple light. Come on! Dangerous. Yeah! Come on! Girl, come on! The Caitlyn's not there to save you this time! No more music! Oh no! Come on, Vi! Considering how many times she gets her ass fucking kicked, I should have put a lot of blood on my face for this cosplay. Probably. Well, your god needs work. Oh. Oh, I love when this is I when this is done. It's easier, kiddo. But I'll be lying. What I can say is, she still needs you. They all do. So what do you say? How about she takes over? She could. That'd be great. And she works with Jace and stuff. Like, she knows Caitlyn That's too. Like, maybe that works. Come on. Ah. Shit. The lights, you guys. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Oh, wow, new thing! New power! <laughs> You've unlocked a new ability! Exactly. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> what are you without your arm, right? Well, she's nothing now. She won't go back up. So bad. So Chase, I know we fought last time we saw each other, but whoa! <laughs> that was cool. She's got since she's changed, she's got cool reveals. 